Hello, and excuse the poor lighting, but I had an incident. So, the lights in the shed no longer work. The lights on the solar charger are all out. There appears to be no power in the solar shed, so I'm assuming the router's dead as well. There's no lights in the front of that. So, it appears to all be out. Um, interesting. I wonder if the... Uh, no, that's all, all gone. So I reckon the BMS on there is tripped. Uh, I'll get a grab a multimeter and we best take some measurements. I wasn't expecting this. So I have a meter across the battery now. And it's reading 22, sorry, 21.44 volts. So divide 21.44 by 8 and that'll give you the voltage of the cells. Which I can't do in my head. It's some lowish number. Uh, we can just quickly t uh, uh. oh you dropping phones and you dropping cameras let's have a quick check of the first cell this is me just looking at the first cell here two and a 2.6 so that is low I'm not gonna lie that is quite low the lowest you can safely take this down is around about 2.5 per cell so we're getting there this is why the BMS is cut out so it's obviously dark now as you can see there is no sun so i'm gonna to have to leave this till the morning and hope to get this to charge and then we're gonna to have to see how we can recover these uh or turn the bms back on because i've never had this before i'm assuming you're gonna to have to obviously provide power to power up the charge controller because the charge controller will not start charging unless it's connected to a battery and it isn't connected to the battery because the bms has disconnected it so what you might have to do is short the output of the BMS to the battery so that you can then restart it again. Interesting. But then again, this is probably left over from the fact I did a, uh, a semi-rundown of the battery the other day and it hasn't been particularly sunny. So, uh, hmm. Interesting times. Well, I'll, uh, I'll have to get the wait for the sun to come out and then we'll have a play. So it is now morning and the sun is up. And so we have, at least we have daylight so we can see what we're doing. But the uh, batteries are not charging. There is power on the panel, as you can see here. We've got uh, 35 volts, but no watts, no amps, because this is not powered up by the battery because the BMS is tripped. So what I was gonna do, so the normal way that you would reset this is you short out the BMS. So that's the output of the BMS, that's the input you'd short these two. Now, if I did that, there'd be quite a spark because I've got quite a heavy load. I've got capacitors in this that are discharged, plus I've got all the other stuff that is connected all the time. So I can't really do that without causing, I think, issues. So what I was gonna do is just wire the charge controller directly to the battery at this point because of the load on this. So at night, this will take about 10 milliamps or something, which it should easily recover during the day even on a cloudy day. So I don't think there's any risk in doing that. Um, so I'm gonna wire it up that way. I could even put a three pole switch in so you can select it between being wired up here or wired up here where it is now. So when it does run out, you just flick it over to this side, which is something I might do in the future. So I'll wire it up. Currently in the battery terminal, I've got these, which is for the lights in the shed and also uh, cameras and stuff run off, off that so I'll move them to the BMS side and I'll move the charge controller to the battery side so I've got a bit of wiring to do now so I've moved the uh, battery input into this terminal block so these are positive and negative for everything that runs in the shed and the power in for that is this lead here which goes up and this lead connects all the way down into this terminal block, which goes onto the BMS inputs or outputs. So once it's on the negative side, which is the switch side goes there and the positive side goes there. So that's now freed up. So all I need to do, do now is run a cable from the battery directly to the battery, bypassing the BMS and it should start charging. And like I say in the future, what I'll do is have a three position switch 
So I can switch it from being connected to either this side, which is the battery side, or this side, which is the BMS protected side. There shouldn't be any issue with connecting it straight to the battery because this won't overcharge and it shouldn't under discharge yet. But it's always better to be safe than sorry. And I need to find a thermal fuse or some kind of fuse to put between that and the battery just in case something goes probably wrong. So we are now charging. We have uh, PV operating and the battery is shown as red, which it would do because it's very low. Here we can see we've got half an amp going into the batteries or 14 watts so it's not a lot but it is a rubbish day to day weather's not meant to get better till wednesday so hopefully by wednesday it's a uh, saturday today we should have a good day to top the batteries off but this will be okay for now um so what i've done i say i've moved all the main shed power inputs to here instead of at the battery terminal the positive goes down to the junction block block there and the negative comes straight down and straight to the top terminal of the battery there so this is going straight across the battery but it is charging so within a few hours that will take up either if within half hour that will take up easily what this will take during the night so with no dangers of uh, making it go flat by having this connected all the time so hopefully in a few days time that will be fully charged and hopefully soon because the pack voltage is now rising, it's it, on the last measure it was 21.7, so it's gone up by 100 millivolts. Woo! So, um, that should hopefully reconnect at some point soon, and then everything will come on. I don't know what it will do when it re reconnects because, of course, you've got the high capacitance loads of these. So, I don't know if it will actually charge this up or if it will think that's a short and I have to disconnect it for it to turn back on but we'll find out once we get a bit of charge in the battery so for now at least i will see you soon because uh, i have to wait for this to charge see you later bye oh one thing i'll do i've got these switches over here which switch off the auxiliary loads on the shed so i shall turn that off so if it does reconnect at least it's not going to blow everything up so now i shall see you later bye